Hi, Mrs. Frosty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. My, my lords, I may I introduce Dole, first lord of the dog. I still think he needs a bow timer. I think he'd look amazing with a bow tie. I don't know, Giddy. I have no idea. How's the bathroom? Work starts on Tuesday. So, tomorrow is the last day when I get to shower. For about two weeks. And I will have to go down to the gym just to have a shower. It's going to be a nightmare for two weeks. I'll have to go down to the gym just to have a shower. Use the I-64 yesterday. He's the kid on the Rocket League booth. Uh, you used the breakout, won the game 5-2, scored all of them. <laughs> well done, sir. Nice. Yeah, we had a lot of fun yesterday playing Rocket League. Um, mods, there's people asking if I'm going to Truck Fest and things like that. Can you run the, um, is it the events, the command, that links into all the events I'm going to? It's probably the best way of letting people know. Cycling Dan, welcome to the Nut House Cycling Dan. Thank you for your support. Well, we have we have a downstairs toilet, so we'll be okay for a toilet, but five people with one toilet is not an ideal situation. Wow, DT, you just posted the same thing again, bro. Yeah, the main thing we're missing is the uh, the shower, but it's it's not going to be fun at all. I think day one they come in and start smashing all the tiles up and taking all the old furniture out, and we probably won't have any central heating because they'll drain all the water out the system and turn that off. Yeah, it's going to be a mess, big mess. But I'm getting a wireless shower. Yep, I'm getting a wireless shower. How cool's that? <laughs> What's a wireless shower, squirrel? What you want, mate? What's a wireless shower? What's that? What are you talking about? Do you? Do you need heat at this time of year? Not, uh, not really, which is why it's a good time to do it, I think. So, a wireless shower is basically like the control unit where you control the temperature. You know, normally what you've got is like... Normally on a shower you'll have perhaps like two dials, right? One will control the pressure, and the other will control the mixture of hot and cold. Well, with a wireless shower, what happens is... You have, you have a box, which is the mixer box, and you'll normally put it like in the attic or something, like above the bathroom. It can go anywhere, really, but it has the hot and cold pipes coming into it. And then the pipe coming out of it, you send down to the shower. That can come out through the wall. It can come down through the ceiling. Like, it doesn't matter. In our case, it's going to come down the rail. So you, you know the rail with the hand thing on it? The rail just goes straight up through the ceiling and the water actually goes down the inside of that rail so you have no pipe work to deal with. The mixer box is then wirelessly controlled. So the mixer unit is like a round thing 
and you can stick it anywhere in the bathroom so you, you just put it wherever is convenient and you just turn the dial to the exact temperature that you want and the mixer box just does it so if you you know if you work out that your favorite shower temperature is 40 celsius you just turn the dial to 40 boom it just does the rest and then you have a button that can send the water either to the the, the hand shower thing which is on the rail or it can send it to the overhead drencher which also comes straight out the ceiling or both so it's going to be uh, well the battery runs out yeah you just pop the battery out and put a new one in there and off you go again for another 12 months it's no different to my heating control my heating control box is a little control unit yeah where I set the temperature for my heating and when the battery runs out I pop a new one in it's, it's literally no different Uh, are you adding water lag by extending the pipe from the mixer to the shower as in you change the temperature and it will take some time for it to come out? Uh, well, the pipe work will be... The mixer box will be above the bathroom, so you'll have about... Uh, a metre? Maybe a metre and a half out of the box. So there's going to be a slight delay, but nothing much. No, they don't, L. Phillips. Have a look for yourself. Go to um, M I R A Myra Myra Showers. Go and have a look yourself. There's there's Aqua Aqua Lita and there's Myra that make them, and we're going with a Myra shower. M I R A. Just go and have a look. They make different models. You can even get models that hook up to your phone so that you can turn the shower on from your phone before you even go into the bathroom so that the water's at the temperature you want it before you even get near the bathroom I, I personally don't see the point of that but you can do it uh, King of Games, welcome back, thank you for three months <laughs> I don't think so, ED. It basically Bluetooth. It's not really wireless in the sense that it uses wireless internet. It's it's Bluetooth. Wow. Did you see that? It blue it connects to the box via Bluetooth, I believe. Yeah, it's a digital shower. It's exactly what it is. But the control unit is wireless. So it doesn't have to be cabled in or anything like that. You can put it where you want it. Uh, I believe you can get them bullets go. I believe that you can get ones that connect to Alexa, yeah. I don't use Alexa, but you can do it. Yeah, they call it a digital shower because you can set the temperature digitally. Like, it's like an exact temperature. Well, that, I, that had occurred to me, Baz. That was another reason why I didn't want to have a phone-controlled shower because people control you with it. And I was like, nah. Just have one control unit, set the temperature, you're done. Because you know what it's like. Every time you jump in a shower, right? It's a guessing game, isn't it? It's a guessing game. Particularly if there's more than one person in the household. Like, you all like a different temperature, so you all kind of mix it to a different place. Well, with this thing, you just remember the number that you like, turn it to that number, and you're done. Well, Miss, Mrs. Squirrel has the shower, like, so hot that I can't even stand in. Like, I cannot get in the shower. She has it so hot, it's ridiculous. But I know people that like it almost ice cold. What's going on with these roadworks? Would be cool to have the Bluetooth option. Yeah, that's... I, th I just think it's a really cool thing. The main reason that we're going for it, apart from the digital temperature, the main reason we're going for it is because we didn't want to have the pipes like running down the wall. Um, if you've got a thick enough wall, you can obviously recess the pipes, but the wall that we have, where the shower is, is not particularly thick. So we can't do that. 
Um, but with these showers, you can run... The water goes down the inside of the frame. So you just have, like, one frame coming down, and the water's inside of it. Which I quite like. Yeah, she has lava water. It's the same water that she makes tea with. <laughs> Indeed, Mika. Family issues, mate. How much is it? I think it's like £700 or something. It's not cheap. You can normally get a shower for like two, 300 These are like 700 But... I, I take the same view that I took with the fridge or the bed. I want a quality one of those because I use it a lot. Yeah? There's five people in the house. We use the shower every single day. Why not just have a good shower? <laughs> Why not have a good bed? Why not have a good sofa? Why not have a good fridge? Just spend the money on the things that, you know, mean mean the difference, I think. I, I'd love a walk-in shower one day. That would be awesome. Uh, John QS, thank you for two months. See, he flashed me. If you're going to spend a load of money on a bathroom, you don't want to, like, cheap out on the shower. I don't think. M. Gaseman, thank you for eight months. Happy Easter to you. No, it doesn't always mean quality. It, absolutely not. But they've been recommended to me by a number of people, so I'm kind of going with that, really. No, I'm not going to get a heated floor. I did think about getting a heated floor, but I kind of, I kind of don't feel like it's worth it, you know. I don't find myself standing in the bathroom for long periods of time in order to actually you know, require having heated tiles. Like, if it was... If it's the kitchen, or something where you're kind of going through more often, maybe it's worth heated heated flooring. <laughs> but we've got, like, a towel radiator in there that's going to heat the room up. You know, I've got, I got a good combi boiler, so I'm using that, really. Not getting a fancy toilet and sink, just a decent one, that's all. Nothing, nothing posh. In fact, the poshest thing I'm getting, I think, in the bathroom, apart from the shower, is probably the, um... Over the sink, we're getting, like, a cabinet, which is a mirror, which has an LED light around the outside. Um... And it's also one of those demisting ones. Mrs. Dump, 46 months, glad you're back, but you're tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I did wave to you yesterday from the big roundabout. Yeah, I saw you. I did wave back. I don't know if you saw me. See you in a couple of weeks. You're going, Mrs. Don't, to um, uh, Truck Fest, aren't you? I think. Bring in Mr. Pringle, hopefully. Caliloth, 18 months. And how many eggs in a row? Just the one. To the nut house. It's nice in the cold winter morning. Yeah. But they're like... I don't know. They're, they're hundreds of pounds, aren't they? Heated floors. They are nice. I mean, I have experienced it, and they are nice, but I just don't think I'd splash the cash out on one, you know? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was sharper than it looked. Uh, Mr. Koz Kozai, thank you very much for your support, Kozai. Welcome to the net house. A heated toilet seat is, like in winter, a heated toilet seat is a nice to have. But, again, would I really spend that money? Or would I rather spend it on something else in the bathroom? You're too busy watching traffic, some minutes on the roundabout lane cutting. Yeah, I can believe it. 
Nice, Mrs. Don't. Nice. I saw um, when we was in the bathroom places, like, you can even get toilets that have a built-in bidet. Yeah. A built-in bidet. What does that mean? Well, it basically means it jet washes your bum. <laughs> I honestly don't fancy that. I do not fancy it. But they've got, like, controls and stuff. Hey, yeah, honestly, you sit down, you do your thing, and then you press the button, and it jet washes your bum. And, the, yeah, the Japanese are really into it. They love it. But... Me? That's not for me. But here's the thing, right? I don't think it dries you afterwards. I could be wrong about that. So it jet washes you, but I don't think it dries you. So... Or maybe it does. Maybe it blows, like, hot air on you. Maybe it's like a... A McWash. <laughs> like, after you buy a burger and you put your hands on the McWash. Maybe it's like that. You know, bit of soap, bit of water, and then it blow dries. I don't know. Or maybe it's like a Dyson. Maybe it's more like a Dyson, where you get, like, a... High-speed hot air. <laughs> I don't even want to... I don't even want to know. I just don't want that in my life. It does, Jules. How would you know? It has a built-in dryer. Hands up if you actually want that in your life. You would, Andy. You're weird. <laughs> Hang on, we go back. I thought we'd turn in then. RGB toilet seat, that'd be amazing. What about a toilet seat with, with like an RGB score logo on it? How cool would that be? It's cleaner than toilet paper. Well, I, I guess. Are you not worried about splashback, though? Surely at some point stuff is going to splash over the lid. Yeah? It's got to happen. Oh, no. You, you say toilet seat with a radio, right? When I was looking at these... Um, when I was looking at these bathroom cabinets, you can get them with built-in speakers. So you go into the bathroom bring up your phone fire up your music and it bluetooth connects to the actual cabinet which has speakers in them so then you can just listen to your favorite music while you're in the bathroom i mean it's you know i kind of think that's a decent idea i didn't go for it but i thought that wasn't a bad idea but then i realized if i got that my daughters will probably just play the utter rubbish music really loud every day in the bathroom so i just decided not to go for that Platinum FM, welcome back. A noise cancelling toilet, that would be the best thing. What a great idea that would be. No matter what noise you make, it basically cancels it out. That would be the best toilet ever. Bose should get on there. The Bose toilet. One thousand pounds <laughs> with noise cancelling technology. How's my trip overall, Sharpie? Which one? 
Yeah, it's it's been really good fun. I'm glad to be back, but I'm I'm really feeling it. Like I'm t I'm super tired. I came back from Berlin, even though I was drinking till stupid hours in the morning. I came back from Berlin a lot less tired than I've come back from insomnia. Just purely because of the bed in the hotel was rubbish. Calling somebody for a reason. Yeah, apparently. They should just rename the Hotel Insomnia. Welcome to the Hotel Insomnia. We give you a bed, but it's not comfortable. We give you a shower, but it has no pressure. We give you one plug to charge all of your devices. And a TV that barely works. Oh, the wireless was bad as well. Free wireless internet, but it was so bad. I ended up using Somi's got like a, a remote wireless hotspot thing. We ended up using that. The 4G was way more reliable. Oh, to be fair, they did give you two pillows. I know some hotels don't, but they did give you two pillows. No, the Ibis was okay. This was the, uh, the Hilton Metropole, it's called. It's the one by the lake. They're actually building a new hotel right outside the door of the NEC, where the lake is. Like, where the, um, what's it called? Um, where the lake is. You've got the Hinchel Metropole and you've got where the, where the casino is. I can't remember the name of it. But right outside the entrance, there's a Moxie Hotel, I think it is. That, I don't know how much they're going to charge for that, but I reckon that'll be ready in a few months. I reckon that'll be ready in time for the next Insomnia. And that is just literally walk out and you're in the NEC. Yeah, where, where Nando's is, Baz, that whole centre there, with the casino in it and Nando's and whatever else is in there, I can't remember the name of it now, that's by the lake. And then there's a, a hotel at the back there, the Metropole, and then where the entrance of the NEC is, they're building a hotel right outside of it. Where the buses turn around, the hotel is right there. And there's no other, there's going to be no other hotel that has the shortest trip to the NEC than that one. Yeah, I don't know how much it'll be, L. Phillips, but <laughs> they've got prime land right there. They've actually finished the Bear Grylls world now. Bear Grylls Resort things online. That's outside of Nando's now. Well, just outside the NEC. So you can you can go up and all that climbing frame stuff. If that's your thing. Platinum, five months. Seems like yesterday I first saw you at Cardiff from Rostock. Watched that in the Boba videos early, uh, earlier in the week. Got me to ETS and I finally picked up on 1.8. Dropped. One sec. Loved it ever since. Got 2,100 hours in it. Nice, dude. You tend to stay at the Premier Inn. Yeah, the Premier Inn is on the other side where Ibis is, I think. It's on the air side, isn't it? Which means you have to get the shuttle bus every time you want to come over to the NEC. No, it's not a hotel. Bear Grylls is not a hotel. It's, um, it's like a, a thing that you can go and it's got climbing frames and challenges and stuff in it. It's like an adventure thing. It's not a hotel. Yeah, but if Bar Grills had a hotel chain, like you say, you'd have to make your own bed and then eat eat insects and stuff for breakfast. Be great. And then wade through freezing water to get to the NEC. Well, the, the, yeah, the toilets would be great. They just involve leaves. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Chris. Like, the Ibis one is decent, but like I say, it's on the airport side.
there's actually two IBIS. There's an IBIS budget, I think it's called, and a normal IBIS. Um, there isn't much between them. <laughs> They're right next to each other as well. Blimey. Yeah, but that's it. Ibis budget and Ibis styles, that's it. Uh, I think we're in Poland. Certainly on our way to Poland. Yeah, Gdansk. We're on we're on the west side of Gdansk right now. Uh, you said the Premier next to New Street Station. I know it. I mean, the thing about a Premier Inn is you know exactly what you're getting. Pretty much all Premier Inns are the same. They're like the McDonald's of hotels. Uh, I can show you the truck, but it's probably better when it's daylight because you can't really see, see very much. Happy Easter crumbs. Uh, you don't care much about the hotel at Insomnia. I can sleep anywhere. What matters more is you have a drink and a chat together. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, that's, you know, Insomnia for me is, is about the social side. But then it's the same with Truck Fest, you know, apart from looking around at all the nice trucks and stuff, it's more about just meeting people. Tom Sunday's now playing your truck. Stalker. Hey, Mrs. Squirrel's stalking me, so why not? Yeah, I'd love the Stalker soundbite moments. I need to get it. I wonder if there's a soundbite for Stalker on like a film or a TV show where somebody says like, Stalker. I could just record it, L. Phillips, but I just wondered if there was one out of a movie. Do you know, one of the questions on, on the pub quiz thing yesterday was... Um, which film is the Arnold Schwarzenegger phrase, get the chopper out of? Which film is that from? Anybody remember? Nope, not Terminator. It's not Commando. It is Predator. You see, it's not easy. It's not easy. Loads of people get it wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, a, here's a question. I thought this was a good question. Beaker, I don't know why that didn't work. I think, oh, I know why. You put chop out and not chopper. Fail. Fail, Beaker, fail. <laughs> Go! Uh, Aviv, Aviv David, thank you so much for the hat and the sign of the badge at TwitchCon EU. You. You're welcome, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely welcome. So here's a good question. The question was, I'm try I won't get the exact wording, but it was... Before 
before a ball is in a game of snooker, before a ball is potted, how many balls are there on the table? Anyone? going on there you see you see that why it's a good question because look at the answers there's so many answers and so many of you are getting it wrong and that's why it's such a good pub quiz question Okay, so let's work it out, right? And a lot of people get this bit wrong. How many reds are there? There are 15 reds, but a lot of people think there's only 9, so they get that wrong. So there's 15 reds. Then you've got the 16, the, the 6 colours, right? So that's 21. And a lot of people put 21 because they forget that there's also the cue ball, the white ball. That's why it's such a great question. So you get 22. So they get the reds wrong. They might not know the colours and then they forget about the cue ball. And that's why it's a great, a great question. Turn off my headlights. Nope. I know they're flashing the lights at me because they're programmed to do that. But I don't care. I can see better with the lights on. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so is backseat driving, mate? Lol. <laughs> to be honest, the reason I put it on is because when we're streaming, like, it's just better to have more visibility than worrying about the AI. Yeah, they only do it when you put the high beams on, they always slash you. And like every single vehicle will flash you. Every one. Unless there's a rear axles, a steering axles, yeah. Exactly, the AI doesn't care about you. <laughs> Parking tutorial, please. That's a whole subject, that is. There you go. Just turn the wheel until it goes in the parking bay. That's the best tutorial you'll ever get. Neck of good health. time and practice that's definitely uh definitely a thing the ai has no feelings right you might as well carry on driving because it's 3 a.m in the game which means it'll be dawn soon anyway yeah i did do i did do a trucking diaries um not trucking diaries what was it i did do a video on reversing i did do one as part of my trucking school series Kazakhan. If somebody can link Kazakhan, that video where I teach people how to reverse, that might be a good starting point for him. Uh, Gdansk. Hmm, where do we fancy going? Mr. Sub. Jagus, thank you for gifting a sub to Audi. Welcome back, Audi. Thanks, Jagus. Sorry about that. Totally missed that. Uh, I've heard about the new My Summer Car update. I've not actually um, tried it yet. 
It's just time and practice, Ma. The thing is, some people will never really get it, Ma. You know? It, unfortunately, it's just a spatial awareness thing. Some people will never be able to, to do it very well at all. Some people, it'd be natural. Some people just need time, don't you say? Happy Easter, Yozza. Um... Is that event that event's still on, isn't it? What's the destination now? Thing is, I don't know if pro mods would actually mess that up. <laughs> you think if I did it with pro mods enabled, it would break this? Geneva. Ooh. I flew to Geneva a couple of years ago for my birthday. Better not risk it with pro mods. Has it still got that? Does it still bug out if you do it? It's a shame. Could have done that. Gdansk. Uh, Latvia. Could go to Latvia. Or we could go up through Sweden. Ooh, that looks fun. 35 tons in this thing. Let's try that. That looks like a fun trailer. You only miss two different destinations, then get everything done for the event. Nice. Yeah, I've still got a few to do. I think I need three more destinations to get the whole thing. Oh, well, happy birthday, Custard. That was last weekend, wasn't it, Custard? Uh, Mo Al Kaf, welcome back. I've only done three. I think I've done eight destinations, uh, eight deliveries, but I need to do two more deliveries, but three destinations, I think. You finished the event in the first week it was on, Audi. No, you can't have done, because it only rotates a destination every three days, and you have to do five, don't you? So you might have finished the first part, but you couldn't have done the second. Unless I've remembered it wrong. You're on console, so no, no emotes work, Daz. Uh, they do, but you probably have to type them out. You have to do a set of 10. That's only the first bit, though. If you want the second part of the achievement, you have to do five different destinations, which you can only do, like the minimum for that is 12 days, because they only change destination every three days. How long is the event for? I believe, didn't they say like end of May or something? I honestly can't remember. They give you quite a while. Ninth of May? Jeez, man, I need to crack on. That's not that far away. <laughs> I better get that done. Third of May is the last. Blimey. Uh, wait a minute. That means I can't do it. Doesn't it? If it's 3rd of May. Oh yeah, I can. I've got a week. Just about do it.
If you pick up a trial of meat destination to the day's destination, the second achievement falls in as well. I'm not sure what you mean, Dave. I'm honest. What the heck? Yo, Caponier, thank you for 37. There's still five destinations available. So if you start now, you can still do it. But you have to do every destination from now. Oh, it's, it's going to struggle with this. This is a biggie. For a 300 engine, this is a biggie. It's just got a steering axle. That's good. That makes life a lot easier. If we hit any hills, though, this could be trouble. We we'll probably need to get some fuel soon as well. Come on, lights. Change! Don't be a scumbag. There we go. I really need this Volvo to get past me quickly. Mick. Nah, I didn't wall uh Mad Mick. I saw the Wally and I was tempted to get it and um Wait what? Oh my god. This actually doesn't want to move. Wait, why does this not want to move? Yeah, this is weird. Is there a crawler gear? Okay, let me just hold the trailer brake and ride it in. Like it physically isn't moving. It's just rolling backwards. to do auto on this. It's just full noping that. It's almost like I'm stuck on a wall. It's bizarre. I'm just going to move the truck over. There is no C1 gear. I had to look for climb gear. I'm going to sit in the middle of the road and try and stop start again. Hmm. According to the game, on a very, very, very slight incline, 
this 329 brake horsepower engine cannot pull 35 tons. It's not an invisible wall. It literally isn't that. It's just going backwards. This is so weird. Like it just about moves it from there. Something very odd. Chewy! 31 months, what time does Sunday night truck uh, chugging start? Lol. 10 pm. <laughs> to answer your question, Mad Mick, um, I did not buy the Wally. I was umming and ahhing about it. And then when I went back there the next day, they'd all been sold. But. The play, if I can remember the name, I don't know if you guys caught the name of the company. When I was showing it on the stream, they had like their website address and the name of the company. It was called like Metal Something Workings. And they've got an eBay shop and they've got a website. And I was thinking maybe I could just order it. Because I kind of wanted to carry it and I should have got it when I was there, but the guy sold, sold it out. They had like two sizes of Wally as well. I could have got both or one. How you doing, Mr. Chewy? Have you recovered from uh, Berlin yet? Bob, you can blame Whiteland for the engine. You think Mrs. Score have had a few words to say about Wally? Why? Oh, oh I thought it would have make a good addition to the uh, table here. What the heck? You put that there? Does the big squirrel sign make it to the UK, Dave? Do you mean this sign here, Dave? 